You can set the duration of video and photo. For this select the video or photo and click on the duration tool. Here you can set the duration as per your requirement. Now let's learn how you can do motion tracking in Filmora. For example I drag and drop a title on the timeline. I edit the title and motion track the title with the vehicle in the video. The motion tracker tool lets you track movement in your video and have objects like elements, videos, images, and text follow that movement. For this select the video and click on motion tracking tool. The tracking box will appear in the video preview. Move and resize it to select the object you want to track. Once that's done, click the motion tracking button and Filmora will analyze the footage. When tracking is complete, track your item by selecting it in the box below the tracking button. So you can see that our title video is motion tracked with the car. In the same way you can do motion tracking of any object in Filmora. Now I teach you how we can do keyframe animation in Filmora. For this I drag and drop a video from media onto the timeline. Select the video and click on the keyframe tool. You can see that we have a keyframe automatically added to the start of the video. You can shift it from this place to another place. For the second keyframe I move the playhead a little further on the timeline. Here I add another keyframe. In this keyframe I zoom in. Change the position of the video. Likewise, I add some keyframes for you to illustrate. In it I will create different animations and also add keyframe animation of opacity. Apart from customize keyframe you go to presets. From here you can also add preset animation. Double click on any preset and apply the preset to the video. Also, scroll down and you will find many preset motions. These are all ready made motion animations that you don't need to create. Double click any preset motion to apply it to the video. You can use this preset motion animation for many purposes, such as for animation in slideshows or general videos and photos. Okay. You can also convert text to speech and speech to text in Filmora. For example, I drag and drop a title onto the timeline. Double click on the title and edit it. I write Solid Tutorials here. OK. Select the title. When you select the title, you will see text to speech and speech to text options here in the toolbar. With Filmora text to speech TTS function, it is easy to add voice to your video. Filmora will automatically transcript your text files. For this I click on text to speech option. So you can see that we have a new window open. Filmora supports up to 16 types of languages to transcribe. Whether you speak English, Japanese, French, or another language, Filmora can convert them all. Here I select English US. Below you will find many text-to-speech sounds. There are many good sounds. Wondershare, creativity simplified. Wondershare, creativity simplified. Wondershare, creativity simplified. Wondershare, creativity simplified. Click on whichever sound you like best. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Below you can also adjust the text to speech speed and pitch within the parameter settings. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. I select Alan's voice. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Okay. After doing this you can see our text to speech conversion. Done close this window. Solid tutorials. So you can see that what I wrote in this title is converted to speech. Solid tutorials. Solid tutorials. 
I delete this title. Now let me show you how we can convert this speech to text. Solid Tutorials Select Speech and click the Speech to Text button in the top toolbar. When you click on it, a window like this will open in front of you. Select the language of speech and audio here. We select English US here. After that click on OK button. So the speech in our audio will automatically start converting to text. When it's done, close this window. Solid tutorials. So you can see that on the preview screen you can see that our text has been converted. Solid tutorials. And when you need more empty video tracks on the timeline, click the plus sign on the left side of the timeline for that. And here click on add video track. Or click the plus sign on the left side of the timeline. And then click on track manager option below. Select as many tracks as you need here. Placement of tracks. Apart from this, you can also add audio tracks from here. And then click the OK button. So you can see that we have empty tracks added to the timeline. Or you can also add audio tracks from here in the same way. At the bottom of the timeline you can see that I added another audio track. Many times during editing we need to add empty video tracks or audio tracks. So for now I just need an empty video track so I add it. Now I am telling you about Filmora Stock Media. I go to Stock Media and click on it. Within Media you will find free videos and photos from the Pixabay website. Apart from this, you will find free GIF of Giphy website and free photos of Unsplash. You can search any picture or video of your choice. To use it, double click on it and it will download. You will need internet for this. After downloading, drag and drop it on the timeline. I double click on it. I apply animation on it. You can also apply shadow from this drop shadow tab. In this way you can make a nice slide show of any picture by applying animation and shadow etc. I also apply a border on it to make it look better. For this go to effects tab and click on it. Download the border effect from here and apply it by dragging and dropping it over the picture. You can make it more colorful by setting the border. Double click on the picture. Go to the effects section and click on it. Here you can change the start color and end color of the border. Also, you can adjust the opacity, blur, size and direction of the border. On the right side of the effect tab, you can see the mask tab. Within this tab are various shape masking effects. When you need to apply it to a picture, come to this tab and apply. Go to basic and click on it. Within the compositing tab there is a blending mode box. You can also create a cool effect of the picture through these options. I fold all the tabs. And turn on the tick of the bottommost auto enhance tab. This option is there to enhance videos and photos in Filmora. Go to the audio tab and click on it. When you need free background music and sound effects, you can download and use it for free from here. You can set this audio. Double click the audio. From here you can fade in and fade out audio. You can also increase and decrease the level of the fade using this dot icon above the audio on the timeline. You can also fade out this way. And you can also adjust from above audio setting.
you can adjust the pitch of the audio. Apart from this, Fillmore also gives you many audio equalizer effects options. Below is the denoise option. Through this option you can remove the background noise of the audio. And at the bottom is the audio ducking option. You can use it weak or strong according to your audio. Also, you can increase or decrease the volume level in the audio settings on the top left side. With audio keyframes you can make the audio fade smoother and more easily. This feature in Filmora is very interesting because Filmora provides a perfect audio editor along with a video editor. To delete a keyframe, Select the keyframe and press the delete button. OK. Go to titles and click on it. There are countless good titles within titles. Drag and drop any title you like onto the timeline. Double click on the title to edit the title. Write whatever you want to write here. Within the presets section you can change the text style. You can choose a nice font for the text. You can also adjust the scale and position of the title. Also, you can add animation on the title or change the animation. For this, go to the animation section within the titles and click on it. From here you can apply any animation of your choice to the text. You can make it even better by thoughtfully adjusting it all. And so I also edit another title to make it easier for you to edit and use it. Apart from this, many subtitles are also available here. When you need a subtitle, just drag and drop any subtitle you want on the timeline. Using subtitle or any title is the same. Just like I edited it and gave it a layout, you can add titles etc. to your videos this way too.